Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today we are looking at Figma or Figma or whatever you really pronounce it and it's a new app. It's like comparable to Sketch but the one thing that you can do and you see it on this little preview video right here is that you can collaborate with other designers, team members, developers and so on in a single design document. Real time, live, all together and I already downloaded the app, we have it just right here and we can simply get into one of these designs that are here to just check out the app to get some feeling for the things that you can do with it and yeah let's just maybe just start out with the sample file to double click it to open it up and after a few seconds you just load it up within this window. So you can download it at figma.com you can get the Mac app of course as well and it's currently loading and there we have it we get this simple file. Now you can of course just use some keyboard shortcuts but I didn't really know about them just yet. This is like my first or second view of this app. I didn't really do anything, just got a little overview of what you can do and I want to just show you some of the features and some of the things that you can do and maybe make a little comparison to Sketch. You see that I uh, made like a group or something right here and we just start out right now. Now let's get into this, you can just uh, just use the pinch to zoom and it's a bit laggy you see but we can just of course navigate within this document and you see you have different options and different tools available at the top you have your move tool and the scale tool you have a group tool and a slice tool the group tool is comparable to creating an artboard in sketch then you have different vector tools like a rectangle tool that we are going to use most of the time probably and we have other tools like the normal uh, pen tool, then different type tools and so on. You can also add comments and that's a great feature which isn't like natively supported in Sketch. You can simply paste it right there and type something in there and that's like really great even uh, if you have a document with more people working within it. So let's just try it out so I see that we have different layers and like outboards right here and you see the icons look the same so that's like saying you can use this tool to create a new artboard and you can drag it by yourself of course if you just like you just saw and you can also just hit the group tool and select an artboard from the side panel. Now let's drag it to the bottom and we see that we have some red lines that help us that help us aligning the artboard. Okay, so right now you see that we can also make this invisible, we can lock it and so on. Just the normal features that we know from Sketch, Photoshop and other apps. We can use the rectangle tool to just create a new rectangle. Let's zoom in a bit and we can drag this around and once we leave it in a certain position we can see, simply see what the size of the actual rectangle is and we can also just go to like this area right here on the right side and on the corner and we can simply turn this around. Now let's place this in the correct position. Usually we would use this for like a uh, status bar and uh, top bar like combination I think you can also import sketch files. Now let's have a look where we are able to do that. We have Figma right here. We can do different things with the file, with the document and so on. Different editing things. We can go to the full screen mode. Also kind of nice. Let's get back to the normal mode like that. We can do different things with the objects, the vectors that we have, probably like one of these right here that you can simply click together 
you can even create difficult uh, like illustration with this. There was a fun video going around where I think like six illustrators uh, collaborated on a single document and created uh, really cool things within this tool. Okay, and somewhere we are able to just import a sketch file and here we have it. So you have to go back to your normal like overview and here you can import a file. Now let's just try to import something for example this weather app that I created and it's like importing and I'm really curious what like layer structure and so on we are going to get when we imported it. it is loading up and I think this won't really take much time and so far I really like the app I think it's of course it, it needs to be optimized and to the performance needs to be like improved but it's only it's it only has been released about a week ago or something like that and I think it's really great let's wait a few months and let's get a back to it and see what it brought. One thing that I also wanted to mention is that I thought it would be very fun and cool to collaborate with you on a design. We could do fun things, we could also do serious things. If you are interested in like collaborating with me on a Figma uh, design, then just write down a comment below this video, maybe include your Twitter name so I can like create a list and uh, send a message to you. And we could simply pr uh, prototype or design in this app. It's really taking a long time and I'm going to cut this video and come back after it's imported. Okay, so it's still importing even after like five minutes and I thought let's just get back to the app, let's just explore it a little bit more. We can just see on the right side if it's ready and get back to it. So you have different projects right here. You have different screens available and you can uh, use this little dotted menu right here to uh, do different things with it. Now we can share it and sharing it means that you can also invite people to collaborate and edit with you. You can set can edit, can view, so you have different rights available. And you can like enable different things like public access and so on. You can also share a link and you can simply do all the things that you can basically do in Sketch with a lot of less performance or optimization available. But I think it's already great and I like the ability to be able to like participate and collaborate with different people. And I would be very happy if you are like interested in this and if we could like make a video series about collaborating in Figma. Now we see that loading up files takes a while and importing files also takes a lot of time. So I think they are going to work on that and you just see that after it's opened up right here you have different options available uh, on this right side that I, didn't, that I didn't talk about yet. We have the users that are currently uh, in this document. You have the share button. We can show settings we can zoom in using this menu right here and we can go and export it. Now I think something is like happening right here and yeah, it looks like it's imported. Now let's get back to the actual file that we have. There we have it, let's click done and let's try and let's try to open up the app that we imported. It really took like five to ten minutes and I guess it's ready. You see some of the things weren't really imported in a good way. So there was a background image and because there is no background image right now we see the text, the white text isn't... Ah! Now it's popping up. Okay. So you see there are improvements to do, but actually we see that we can do fun, fun things with it. Now you see we can actually edit right in this text and that's something that's really important and great that we can change and edit the text right here. 
because for example in printable where we can also import sketch files we are not really able to edit texts and right here you see we have different text layers available we have icons and shapes and so on and everything is imported in a great way so I really have to say good job Figma great import and let's just try out some of the things that we can do with text because of course text is very important to us now it's of course also looking like sketch but a bit more in a minimal way we have different type options right here with pixel sizes uh, with different um, options like the font weight, font family, the fill, stroke effects and so on and of course we also have these uh, alignment tools on the right side and we can do quite a lot of cool things let's try out effects what is effects doing we can add a nice drop shadow to this looks cool we can add inner shadows blurs oops so if you would like to select one of these effects you can sometimes you got yeah you just randomly click this uh, button but of course we didn't want to do that and after you selected one of these effects on the left side using this icon you can select or you can change the details and like create a perfect drop shadow so this was just as I said a small overview of the things that you can do in Figma I wanted to really show you the basics and this was as I said also like the first time of me exploring the app and yeah as I said, if you would like to participate with me, write down your Twitter name in the comment section of this video. And I hope we see us in the next video. Thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you.